Welcome back to my channel where I talk all things money, business, and wealth, or as I like to say, where we make more dough than a bakery. If you laughed at that, you know you're a real rock star. Stop it! Thank you. My primary objective on this YouTube channel is to turn passion into pennies and free time into financial freedom. And today's video, my rock stars, it's no different. I'm going to be talking about my 25 streams of income. And the great thing is most of them I'm doing while I'm sleeping, which means it's passive income. I will be spilling the beans on how I can make up to a hundred thousand US dollars per month even in the middle of what many people are calling a recession. I will be sharing what the stream of income is, how much I get paid, how exactly I receive that stream of income. Is it through ad revenue or a commission? And where I get that revenue? Is it through PayPal, via check, via my bank account, or through Payoneer or other platforms that facilitate payment. But I don't want you to pay too much attention to my 25 streams of income because the whole point of this video is for you to understand that you can do it as well. Remember my rock stars, I was born into poverty and I'm not a student of an Ivy League university. I am dyslexic, I'm definitely not gifted and most of the skills that I've garnered, I had to teach myself. But you know what? I never judge. I always pray. I have faith and I'm always grateful. And more importantly, I never compete. I dominate by consistently being better than my yesterday self. So enough of the pep talk, my rock stars. It's action time. So take a seat, grab a snack, because we are about to get rich or die trying. Just kidding my rock stars. Let's just hope it's the first one. Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to have you back. Please remember that there are scammers in the comments using my photograph asking you to WhatsApp them, to Telegram them, to email them. It's not me. They are trying to get access to this money that we're trying to make. So report and ignore. Also, this is not in any order. I'm going to start with low income streams, then high, then low. It's all over the place, my rock stars. So it's in your best interest to watch the entire video video if you want to get ideas of income streams that you can introduce to increase your earning potential and as such achieve financial independence. That said, class is now in session. Now the first stream of income that I'm going to cover are returns that come from investments in the form of mutual funds. And an example of this is a bond, which is passive income. Simply put, this is money that's going to come in whether I'm awake or asleep. Now a bond is a debt security. It's kind of like a IOU. This is where somebody who wants to borrow money will issue a bond to raise money from investors who are actually willing to lend them money for a certain time period. Now let me give you an example of a bond. Let's say I'm starting an outsourcing organization where I'm gonna do work for a client overseas as an example. I don't have the money and I need to raise capital. I can actually put out a bond for like a hundred thousand US and this is just an example and the public will have an option to put money into this bond at a promised interest rate per annum for a specified period of time and as I'm starting that business and it's starting to make money I have a responsibility to give my investors the amount that was indicated in the agreement in the form of an interest or what a lot of investors refer to as a coupon payment and that amount will come either per month in some instances but typically per quarter or per year so as an example if a hundred thousand is what I'm looking for and you are able to contact contribute $10,000, you're buying a bond valued at $10,000. And let's say the interest that I promised was 10% per annum, then you're going to get $1,000 at the end of the year. Or if it's quarterly, it's $1,000 divided by four. So that's the concept of a bond. Bonds are typically issued by government, municipalities, 
and corporations. Now, this is one of our primary streams of income, and it has been since I was in my 20s. And as an example, by investing a million US dollars at 7% interest per annum, we end up getting coupon payments coming in every three months or every quarter. And if you break that down monthly, it equates to about 5,800 US dollars per month. At 2 million US dollars invested in bonds at the same 7% per annum in interest, it works out to about 12,000 US dollars per month that's coming in because we have that money put aside whether we are asleep or awake. Now, some of the bonds that we have invested in locally include South Power, which is the parent company for JPS, Portland Barbados, which is associated with Michael Leachin, AIC, and we have several unit trusts in different investment houses. If you are overseas, one of the investments that I love to recommend and invest in is Vanguard, and a popular one right now is iShares. To start to invest in bonds, I recommend you talk to a financial advisor. If you are a subscriber on my Rockstar TV network, I'm going to list some financial advisors there, primarily in Jamaica, but one of them at least can give you guidance as it pertains to investments internationally. To invest in a bond, however, you'll need a minimum amount based on the requirements for that bond. And these bonds are deposited to our bank accounts, whether in the country where the bonds exist or in other countries if you want that to be the case. If you are interested, you can also Google bonds to invest in in your territory and talk to a financial advisor to see the best way to go about it. Remember, all investments are risky, so you have to carefully evaluate your risk appetite and go from there. Now, the second stream or source of income is board fees. This is where you are appointed or asked by public or private entities to be on their board to provide them with guidance on their path to achieving the objectives of their organization. Now, depending on the company, whether public or private, is it a nonprofit or a profitable company, board fees differ. For me, I'm on a few boards and the public companies where I sit on their board, what we earn as a board fee is obviously public knowledge. But on average, I would say it ranges anywhere from about a thousand US dollars per month or the equivalent up to three thousand US dollars per month. So on three boards as an example it could be about four thousand five hundred US dollars per month that's coming in. This one is active income however because you have to attend meetings, you have to review minutes, you have to participate in the strategic vision and execution of that plan for the company but in my opinion it's a lot of learning and I'm gaining from being on boards a lot more than I'm giving. Now this is usually paid through a regular bank account and if you have an interest in going on boards all you need to do is to make sure that your area of expertise is something that you advertise and in some countries you can actually apply to go on boards but in my case I was asked and selected. Now my third stream of income is e-commerce related to our Goffa Global e-commerce platform and there are two sources of income here. The first is the actual website and the e-commerce online platform and the second is physical stores where we operate the Goffa Global business from. Now on our website most of the products there don't belong to us personally because we allow individuals to sell their products there and we take anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of the price of the product and then we pay the commissions for people who are recommending and referring those products and using affiliate marketing to make money and then the balance which is usually about five percent is what we keep as the e-commerce platform so as an example if we're selling a hundred thousand dollars worth of products on the website for different product owners at five percent that works out to about five thousand us dollars per month and if we're selling $500,000 in products, then it's about $25,000 US dollars per month. Now, there are products on Goffa that we own. And in this case, of course, we get 100% of the revenue. Now, at 10 products being sold daily, 
at an average of $20 per product. That's $6,000 US dollars in revenue every month from those products. Now in the physical store, the concept is the same. There are products there that belong to product owners and there are products there that belong to us. So for some, we'll earn about 5% of the revenue and for others, we'll earn 100% of the revenue. Now for the e-commerce portion of the Guffa business, that money is paid to a bank account or to PayPal for those who opt to use PayPal for their purchases. And for in-store, it's either paid in cash or there's a swipe machine, so it's paid directly to the bank. Now, my rock stars, everybody, I believe, should sell at least one product online. And e-commerce is not easy and it does require ingenuity patience and know-how, but guess what? It's something that you can learn. When I put my first product online many, many years ago, it took me about eight months to get my first sale, but I stuck to it. I learned how to optimize my product search so that it would pop up at the top of different e-commerce platforms. And today, with multiple products being sold on different e-commerce platforms, it continues to be a lucrative, passive income stream for me in most cases. It's an income stream that I believe everybody needs to have. Now the next income stream is obviously my book, No Regrets, Just Lessons. And it's available in audiobook, ebook, paperback, and hardcover. I didn't want to miss an opportunity to sell. It's also sold on Goffa, on my personal website, on Amazon, on Apple, on Kobo, in Fontana Pharmacy, and in several stores across the globe. Now, depending on where I'm selling this, as an example, if it's on Amazon, I earn through Payoneer, which is what Amazon FBA uses to pay me on a monthly basis. And if you have not watched this video yet as to how to create a remote US bank account like Payoneer that will allow you to get paid from different e-commerce platforms, you should watch this video here where I show you how to create such a bank account from any country across the globe. I will also get paid by check depending on where it's being sold as well as sometimes the money is transferred to PayPal if it's sold on my personal website or to my bank account if it's sold elsewhere. Now let's assume I'm able able to sell 10 books per day at about $22 in revenue. That equates to $6,600. And that's of course, US dollars per month. My rock stars, if it's only one book per day, it's still 660 US dollars per month. And you know what the amazing thing is? You don't need to be an author anymore to write a book. Because as I shared in this video here, you can write low content books, put them on Amazon K DP for sale and start earning even if you're selling one book per day, 660 US dollars per month, I'm certain my rock stars, it can help you to pay a bill. Now the next stream of income is my consultancy. And this is where I give strategic advice to different organizations, or I conduct workshops in different companies, and I'm able to monetize my input, my time, and my contribution. Now I do this either through a retainer where I say to the company, you're going to have access to me at these times under these circumstances. And every month you pay me this amount. It may be project based or initiative based, meaning I do something and there's a certain amount that I'm charging for it. Or it may be event based, meaning I'm doing a workshop as an example, and I'm charging 5,000 US dollars as an example. And that would be for about four to six hours. Now, if I'm consulting with three organizations in the average month, I'm going to earn anywhere from 3,500 to as much as 10,000 US dollars per month. And this is usually deposited to a bank account or you can actually dictate how you want to earn this. Now, if you are interested in starting a consultancy, what you have to determine is what is your area of expertise that you want to monetize. All of us are good at something, my rock stars. There is a priority matrix that I share in this video where you can use that template to narrow down what it is that you're good at and then determine how to monetize it and sell those services in the form of a consultancy 
consultancy to organizations and earn from it. Now, my next stream of income is my coaching practice where I do direct one-on-one -on -one coaching. And those sessions are usually about an hour and they range anywhere from a hundred US dollars per hour to as much as 500 US dollars, especially if you're purchasing a package that has six to eight sessions on your path to achieving your financial goals. Now with 30 clients in the average month, my earning potential is as much as 6,000 US dollars per month. And this money, depending on where the client books their coaching session, is often paid through PayPal or through my regular bank account or in some rare instances on a platform like Payoneer or in a US bank account. In these sessions, I first identify your financial goals, then I identify your life goals overall, then I explore your skills, your talents, your assets, your qualifications that can be monetized to generate income, and then we develop a detailed action plan with dates and owners on exactly what steps we're gonna take on your path to achieving financial independence. So my rock stars, if you want to start a coaching practice, what I would say is this, figure out what it is that you're good at, what you like to share, develop a structure as to how you're gonna do it to make sure that it's effective because if you're not giving value, you don't deserve to get paid. Advertise it and start earning from sharing your knowledge and coaching people on their path to achieving their goals. Now, the next income stream is investments in stocks. And this is a passive income stream for the most part because I'm not talking about buying a share or a stock for $10 and selling it for $20 later on because that's more active. I'm talking about buying dividend stocks. And a dividend is a sum of money paid regularly mostly annually by a company to its shareholders out of profit. To me, it's like a gift because I invest in shares with like a Wisinko or as an example, Apple. At the end of the year, they give me this amount as a dividend and it's basically for doing nothing. So it's truly passive. And in the case of Apple, it's 92 cents per share. And in the case of a Wisinko, as an example, it's usually above 20 cents per share. And of course, Apple is in US dollars, Wisinko is in Jamaican dollars. Dividends are typically paid to your bank account based on the instructions that you give to your investment house, to the broker, or directly with the organization that's responsible for investment in the country that you live. Now, the next income stream is digital products. And this one has several income sources built into to it and they are sold across different websites specifically on my website there is a budget template that you can get for five dollars to help you with budgeting on your path to achieving your financial objectives there is a resume template where we will take your old-fashioned resume and transform it into a modern one-page resume yes we take up to eight pages or four pages and make it into a one-pager and we also have a business plan template that you can use to submit business proposal if you're looking to start a business and you need capital. Now, between the budget template at $5, the business plan template at 10, and the resume at 75, plus there are other templates, but we're sticking to these three for this example. Let's say the average is $15 per template, and I can move 10 templates per day. At the end of the month, that's 4,500 US dollars per month. You know what I love about this income stream? It's 100% passive. I created these templates and while I'm sleeping, they're selling and money is coming in. Now you may be thinking, but Odetta, I don't know how to create templates. What you need to figure out is what it is that you have in that head of yours that most people don't know, or it may be an easy way to do something. Just make sure what you're doing will add value. Create something, whether it's an ebook, which is also a digital product, or it could be a budget template, or it could be a template that guides someone on the path to achieving their goals. Attach a price to it, 
pop it on a website and start making money while you sleep. Now the ninth source of income is one that I've grown to love and it's real estate. And I'm talking about building not just residential properties for rent or for resale, but commercial properties, which to me is where the money is, especially if you go into building warehouses as an example. Why? Because a warehouse is literally four walls, no fancy tiles, no fancy windows, just a little bathroom, some walls, some paint, and that's it. And you can rent one for anywhere from 2,000 to as much as 5,000 US dollars per month, depending on where in the world you live. Cheap to make, easy to rent, relevant for the fact that we are moving into a world where most products are being sold online. So what are these product owners gonna need? place to store those products. So when thinking about real estate, don't just think residential, think commercial as well. Whether it is that you're acquiring property that you're using for Airbnb, and this could be you renting property and getting the approval of the landlord to use it for Airbnb to make some extra money, or you can be taking on a developer loan. This is where you have land and you want to build apartments, townhouses, or residential units, or even commercial properties, and and you say to the developer, I don't have the money to develop this property, but here's the deal. You can build seven townhouses on it. As an example, you source the funds, whether you're doing it from the bank or out of pocket, I'm going to give you my land. And when you're done, you give me three or four of those seven units and you keep the rest. This is an amazing way to go into real estate, my rock stars, because you're doing so with no loans, no debt, and now you're getting something that you didn't have to invest time and effort to construct and you're able to rent these let's say three units at two thousand dollars per month and make a six thousand dollars income with very little effort now for me we're doing a combination of all those things in different ways in addition to buying properties or land low on good deals or properties and land that's foreclosing and then selling it at a premium or developing it and selling it at a premium. With a total of about 10 units per month, as an example, paying 2,000 US dollars per unit, the potential is 20,000 US dollars per month in revenue from real estate. Now, the next stream of income that I have is crowdfunding. And I use crowdfunding in the form of Patreon to host my rocks star club membership this is where i do group coaching several times for the month one-on-one -on -one coaching at least once per quarter you get free templates you get to be a part of a whatsapp group with over a hundred people that have a similar mindset you also depending on the tier or the level you choose to join the club get access to me via whatsapp and i'll tell you this from now my rock stars i don't respond promptly but i always respond you get also to communicate with me on Patreon and to communicate with like-minded people in that forum as well. And for the Rockstar Club membership, you pay anywhere from 15 to 45 US dollars per month. And right now I have over 200 club members on the path to achieving their financial goals. This is paid through a bank account, whether it's a US bank account, if you have Payoneer or any other means of your choosing, depending on how you want to receive those funds how can you start using crowdfunding to make money again you need to narrow down what you're good at what it is that you can sell or you can advertise or give to others that will add value and it will add enough value for them to want to pay for it figure out how to monetize it build a structure to drive success pop it on a platform like Patreon or any other crowdfunding platform that does that and you're able to create a revenue stream. If you have Patreons that are paying 10 US dollars on average and you're able to build up your Patreon family, as an example, to 100 subscribers 
dollars per month that's a thousand us dollars that you can earn and you can decide what you're giving to earn that now the next stream of income is a huge one and it is youtube and of course for the most part it's passive because you create those videos and once you have posted them you continue to earn from them in perpetuity without touching them ever again now for me i've chosen to talk about personal finance which is what's referred to as a high cpm niche which means my rate per 1000 views that youtube pays me is higher than most other channels out there at about 50 us dollars for every 1000 views and that's cpm what youtube collects and with them giving me about 55 percent of that which is what's referred to as my rpm so at 50,000 views per day on average that's about 41,000 us dollars per month that i have the potential to make with my channel if it's only 10 views per day then it's still eight thousand us dollars per month with the potential of my channel and it's this income source my rock stars why i can afford to give grants on my channel as i shared in this video of up to fifty thousand us dollars per month now don't get me wrong most channels out there earn anywhere from one to three dollars per one thousand views but all you have to do is figure out a topic that teaches people something because that rate per one thousand views is typically higher now the next income stream is drop shipping and this is an old income stream so whether it's the Bluetooth speaker that I shared in this video the Bluetooth headset my book and the many products that I shared here that I'm actually either making passive or active or direct income from the bottom line is I'm not doing much to earn that money and it's truly passive so in essence with drop shipping the products are procured persons go on to buy the products the company ships the products to them manages the customer service collects the money and gives me the proceeds based on the agreement of that particular website whether you're using shopify equid or amazon which my website as an example odetta rocket car i'm using equid you are able to earn money while you sleep using drop shipping at 10 products per day earning 20 us dollars per product that equates to about six thousand us dollars per month in revenue through drop shipping and depending on which platform you're selling your products on you can earn via paypal which is very popular like for equid as an example you can earn via pioneer depending on if you're selling it on amazon or even your personal bank account depending on the e-commerce platform now the next income source is one i just launched and it is my rockstar tv network now on the rockstar tv network i share things i will not share anywhere on social media so you're gonna see several videos there that will never be shared on youtube or anywhere else tutorials tips and you will be able to have dialogue with like-minded people as well as it's a means to connect to me as well although again i don't always respond promptly but i always respond but you are able to communicate with me through patreon when you become a subscriber on the rockstar tv network now the subscription amount is only five us dollars per month for all that i just explained and it's just launch but let's say as an example i'm able to grow this to a thousand rock stars watching the rockstar tv network that's five thousand us dollars per month what you need to do is to give people something that you don't give to everybody else and that can bring value to their life in one way or another and charge for it at a minimal amount and build an audience now my 14th income stream is merchandise or branded products whether that's my rockstar cup that i drink my tea from or different clothing items notepads books hats whatever it is i have the rockstar logo or the rockstar branding on those products and i'm able to sell those products to my audience and earn income doing that and in most instances i'm leveraging drop shipping which is where you can go to a platform like springs which is where i have a lot of my branded items you buy a product there the platform will source it print my logo on it, ship it to you, and then give me the difference between the cost to do all of that and what I'm charging for the product. 
at five products per day at $25 per product. That accounts for about $3,750 US dollars per month of my income earning potential from branded products or merchandise. Now this next stream of income, I would say pays me the least amount of money, but it requires the least effort. And this is just selling my photographs on platforms like I am. And I've shared this in several videos. If you have seen Getty images on any image that you tried to download online, you know it may be a partnership with I am, which is the platform where I pop up my photographs, as you can see here, and people can download and get access to them or even buy the rights for them. By the way, by buying the rights, it doesn't mean they own the photograph, but they own the rights to use it where they want. And at about $80 on average per photograph and one to about five photographs per month, that can earn up to 400 US dollars per month on average. And of course, the more photographs you have, the greater probability that your photographs will be downloaded and you'll be able to earn money doing so. Now, the next income stream is one I talk about a lot and it's respondent. And as you can see here, you'll see all the jobs that respondent is sending me that I can do and earn that money as soon as I'm done with that job. Respondent is a leading market research platform that peers top companies looking to improve their products and services with participants like you who want to share their insights and experience and get paid for doing so. It's very common for participants to be paid as much as 200 US dollars per week just participating in random projects and completing them on respondent. Now my next side hustle is another one that I love because it's passive and it is affiliate marketing and this is where I take links from a number of websites for a number of products. I put them below my YouTube videos. I put them on Instagram, on TikTok, anywhere, even in my blogs, as an example, when I wrote a lot more blogs, you click on them and whenever you buy, I make a commission. So I have my Amazon store and that's doing pretty well these days because I'm getting a lot more clicks. But more importantly, because Amazon has that cookie where whenever somebody clicks and buys, whatever they buy for the next 24 hours, I make a commission from it. I'm able to earn for products I didn't even recommend. So I really love that functionality of Amazon. But some of the companies that I do affiliate marketing with includes, of course, the obvious Amazon, where I'm an Amazon associate. Canva is another one where when I share the link and somebody pays for their service, I earn a certain amount. Envato, VidIQ, Skillshare, respondent pioneer and even on Gofa and a few other platforms the key is every time you share something you should try to monetize it and that way you're able to earn money while you sleep whether you're earning one percent of the product value or 25 percent of the product value it's money that you didn't have yesterday that you're putting in very little effort to earn because all I'm doing, frankly, is putting the links below my YouTube videos and putting the links out there on social media. And when persons click it, I earn money. Now, across all the different affiliate marketing platforms that I partner with, I would say my potential is as much as about $1,500 per month. And it's growing by the day as my audience grows online. Now, sponsorship is an active source of income that I absolutely love, but I do very infrequently. You know why, my rock stars because when you are recommending a company a product or a brand you're putting your reputation on the line i have in the last year or so given up close to 98,000 us dollars in sponsorship money because i've said no to brands companies and organizations that wanted me to promote their product whether it was goods or services because I will never promote something I don't believe in, use or support. 
a sponsorship deal on average based on what I've seen with all the many proposals that have come to me over the last year or so, they pay anywhere from 2000 to as much as 10,000 US dollars for it could be a few minutes of you talking about the brand or the business in your video to as much as you doing an entire video that's dedicated to it. Now, another income source that I've added recently is I created a second YouTube channel, which is called Odetta Rocket Unedited. My I hope is that on this channel I'm just gonna share tips I'm gonna have fun and share life lessons but it's gonna bring value in one way or another and I'm expecting that I'll make about 10 US dollars per 1,000 views and it will average about 3,000 US dollars per month and as I'm sure you know YouTube revenue is deposited to whichever bank account you choose or I believe in this day and age you can still opt to receive a check I'm not sure but I prefer direct deposit for YouTube earnings now the next stream of income is one that I did in the past that I'm gonna ramp up in the next year or so and it is blogging again this one is relatively passive I write the blog once and people continue to visit the website that that blog is posted on and I'm earning money now I would have written blogs on my personal website odettarocketcar.com and I'm able to use Google Adsense to monetize my content the great thing about writing blogs these days my rock stars is that with chat GPT you don't have to do a lot of work anymore. Now keep in mind, you still need to make it unique, make it spicy and make it worth reading, but you get the baseline subject matter from an AI tool like ChatGPT. That said, with anywhere from 1 million to 3 million views on YouTube, when I relaunch my blogging platform, I believe I may be able to get about 25% of that, which will equate to about 500,000 views per month for my blog. Blogs, and I'll be creating personal finance content, which as per Google AdSense, as you can see here, for 50,000 views, I'll make about 19,000 US dollars per year. So for 500,000 views, I'm expecting that my blogging will give me about 16,000 US dollars per month. And the most amazing thing about blogging is that if you have an audience, whether that audience is on YouTube or coming from another social media platform, you are able to channel them to your blogs and like I said earlier you can also monetize your blogs by putting in affiliate links for people to click and buy as well as you can put it on platforms like medium and some other platforms out there that will pay you per article or per blog now the next income stream is speaking and I don't do it as much anymore my rock stars you know why because whenever I'm to speak the time it takes me to prepare what I'm gonna say because I like to do fancy PowerPoint decks they take time and then I need to go and speak which takes up an entire day by the time I get ready I travel I speak and get back home too time consuming for what I'm earning. On average, I charge anywhere from 1500 US dollars per half an hour to an hour if it's a non-profit and up to 3,500 US dollars for the same time frame if it's a company that makes profit. In a month where I get three jobs, whether profit or non-profit, I'll make about 6,000 US dollars on average if that's the case. And of course, you tell them how you want to get paid and where you want to get paid. So that's not a factor. Now, my next income stream is one I shared earlier, which is low content books. So I'm not going to stay on this one for too long. I'm just going to send you to go watch this video so you can learn how to create this income stream for yourself. And I'm using BookBolt to do this. And I intend to launch my financial freedom planner. Not sure if that's what I'm calling it yet, but that's going to be the focus. And at 10 books per day being sold at about 20 US dollars per book, the earning potential when I do launch that will be about 6,000 US dollars per month. And again, depending on the website that I'm selling it on, I'll earn either via Pioneer, if it's on Amazon as an example, or PayPal, if it's on my website or elsewhere. I'm also creating another digital template, which is gonna be a YouTube template. This template is 
is going to include the content creation calendar that I use, my YouTube goals and the strategy and schedule that I use to achieve success on YouTube. At about 10 US dollars per day, if I'm selling 10 templates, that's going to be about 3000 US dollars per month from this additional digital product. The 24th stream of income is graphics and content design. The last project I did was I created a PowerPoint deck and a video for a particular company. And depending on the organization, I'll charge anywhere from $3,000 to as much as $10,000 US dollars to do this, but it takes a ton of time, my rock stars. So whether it's creating a flyer, a logo, a video, a PowerPoint document, a pitch deck, a one pager, whatever it is, I have a price that I charge to create these things. And when I do do them, and let's say I can churn out three products per month, it can be upwards of $6,000 US dollars per month. And and the final income stream, I'm not making any money from it yet because it's one that I'm scheduling for this year and it is to start a podcast. And on this podcast, I'm of course going to interview different guests. I'm going to talk to different persons who are using side hustles to make money, who are starting small businesses and who are having success financially. And I'll put it on platforms like a Patreon where people pay to consume the content and of course the typical Spotify and elsewhere and my hope is that it will earn about 10,000 US dollars per month. I'm not going to be doing it alone. There's a surprise there that I'm going to tell you about later on but that's the last income stream and one that I'm yet to launch. How many sources of income do you have my rock stars? If your answer is none, it's time to change that. Because one of the amazing things about having multiple sources of income is that your earnings become recession proof. If one fails, another one will pick up. You owe it to yourself to have that kind of control over your life. Now, most of what I shared earlier is gross revenue, it's not profit. So make sure that you're charging enough to make a decent profit and also to pay your taxes. My rock stars, that's it. Until next time, walk good.